In this video, I'm going to talk about the community attribute. In the context of BGP, a community attribute, a community is a group of destinations that share some common property. A community is not restricted to one network or one autonomous system. It has no physical boundaries. An example is a group of networks that belong to the educational or government communities. These networks can belong to any autonomous system. Communities are used to simplify routing policies by identifying routes based on a logical property rather than IP prefix or an AS number. A BGP speaker can use this attribute in conjunction with other attributes to control which routes to accept, prefer, and pass on to other BGP neighbors. neighbors. You can use route maps to set the uh, attribute community attributes. The route map set command has this syntax. So this is basically under the route map uh, configuration. So in, th in an example is this. An example is this. So set community community number additive. Uh, this means that you are not overriding a, uh, any other existing number, same number, or well-known community. So we have uh, some well-known communities for use in this command, uh, for use. So one is no export. So meaning do not advertise to eBGP peers, keep this route within an AS. Uh, number two, no advertise, do not advertise this route to any peer, internal or external. Internet, advertise this route to the internet community. Any route belongs to this community. Any route, should be route, belongs to this community. Any route, yeah. Um, local AS are used in configuration scenarios to prevent the transit of packets outside the local AS. So in this lab, I'm just going to talk about no export. I mean, I'm just going to show how to use no export. So I have this uh, topology or network diagram. So in this case, uh, do not advertise to EBGB peers. Keep this route within an AS. So I can, I can actually use either no export and no advertise. Oh, so I'm gonna show that later. But uh, let me just go through the the notes here. Here are two examples of route maps that set the community. So yeah, route map route map name ip address so this is looks like it's uh matching a access list or a prefix yeah it depends and this is how you set the community so in this case it's using the no advertise and this is an example of setting a number so it says here, this lab demonstrates how the community attribute can be used to dynamically influence the routing decisions of other AS. So like I said, I'm going to uh, dynamically influence the route, which is this route here, and tell this AS not to advertise AS1, not to advertise it to AS2. So I have some, I, I mean, I have, you know, the, I have the pre-check, implementation plan, test plan, and rollback, rollback plan. And I have these references. So this is the uh, Cisco website, and this is a book, Internet Routing Architectures, second edition, second edition. Okay, so pre-check. Check if route is in 
the BGP table or routing table. So let's do that. Actually, before that, let me explain the, what's happening in this diagram. So basically, I have four routers, RTC, RTD, RTA, and RTF. RTA and RTF belongs to AS3. RTC belongs to AS1. RTD belongs to AS2. And of course, this is a ABGP peer. I mean, RTC and RTA are ABGP peers. Uh, RTA and RTF are IBGP peer. And I actually shut down this link just to you know, show that when I advertise this route to RTC, RTD will be receiving that route via RTC, not via RTF. So this is just to simplify the the uh, demonstration that I'm going to do. Okay, so let me configure or let me perform perform the implementation plan. So I'm going to create a prefix matching the route. So in this case, this is actually a access list. So I'm going to and I'm going to configure the configure this on RTA. RTA. Of course, I tried this myself before recording this video. So, configure the prefix. Number two, create route maps to, to match route or prefix and set community attribute. So, so this is how you create match and set the community. So in this case, I'm setting the community to no export. So no export, again, do not advertise routes to EBGB peers. Keep this route within an AS. Okay, and this is how you, let me actually do this first. RTA. Actually, I did not, I have not done the pre-check yet. Let me just do the pre-check. Sorry about that. Okay, so pre-check is basically just to make sure that or ensure that this route is in the BGP table. We also do that command. So this route is in the routing table as well. Let me go to RTC. So RTC is learning this route from this neighbor, which is RTA. Show IP route. It's in the routing table as well. Let me go to RTD and see if RTD is learning the same route. So hmm. I did not expect this. Hold on, let me I think let me just check something here. Looks like I did not delete the configurations that I did earlier. And looks like I have done it already. Let me just, for the sake of this video, I'm going to remove the policy or the, yeah, the route map. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then do this command. And then I'm going back to RTD and see if RTD will be learning the command. I mean the the route. So now it's learning the route. <coughs> so 
So now I can go back to my implementation plan and continue. So RTA Okay, so it's not there anymore. Access list is already configured. Oh well, uh, this is route maps are already configured. I'm not gonna repeat uh, the configurations. So number two is done. So I'm just gonna do number three, which is apply the route map and configure SAN community to the neighbor. Neighbor. So community is not sent by default. You have to tell uh, the router to send it to the neighbor. So that's that's hence the, this command, these commands. So let me do that. And let me just do all, do all these. Okay, implementation plan is finished. Now I'm going to proceed with the test plan, which is uh, is not check if route is not in the BGP table or routing table of uh, that would be RTD actually, because you know we have this. Uh, policy that says do not advertise route that is match this route basically that is that this match is referring to right or that that uh, matching this uh, <coughs> this IP address you know what I'm not really sure why it says IP address but uh, let me just match IP. So it's matching the access list. So our access list is one. Okay, that's uh, makes sense. So I'm going to going back to our test plan. I'm going to RTD and check if this route is not in, in the BGP table anymore. And let me do that. Okay, so it looks like our routing policy is working as expected. And by the way, uh, like I said, uh, community is not being sent by default. So, um, you have to make sure, or you have to make sure that RTC is sending the send community to RTD. So I'm going to add to our so wrap BGP AS1, and then I'm going to add this command. Let me just show you. This year, <clears throat> oh, sorry. I uh, this actually for this route map because um, this route map will work, is working actually. Sorry about that. This is for. Uh, you have to make sure that RTC is sending the route, this community to RT, RTD. For RTD to, let me go back here and let me check this route. So here, if I removed let me go back to this here. Remove. And 
is I'm going to do clear IP BDP 192.68.6.1, is it? Yeah, soft. And I go back to RTD and do the same command. The community is gone. So you have to also make sure that RTC is sending the community to uh, RTD. RTC is sending the community to RTD. If you are not sending it um, by default, I mean, if you are not, if you have not configured the send community, RTC will not send that, will not send it to RTD. I hope that makes sense. So going back to, just wanted to show that part. Going back and just send the community again to the neighbor. So you have to clear the BDP process. Now I see it. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So yeah, so we have done this. And I'm going to also check and make sure that, yeah, we already did, did that, which is one, let me number these steps. Also this. Going back here and I wanna do this again. <laughs> so I'm going to RTD and make sure that this route is not there anymore. So RTD. Yeah, the route is not in the BGP table and in the routing table. So our lab is successful. And this is just to roll back the change. And like I said, the references that I have for this lab. So yep, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.